We've just left Kamloops Can in Loop, yeah. British Columbia. We had a nice overnight there and we're on our way to Chilliwack and ultimately Vancouver. We are just two days from the end of our trip and we're now kind of taking our time. We are. We still think we only got two minutes in the RV from the last little clip that we had <laughs> and we saw this beautiful development, this lake with the mountains behind us. It is absolutely stunning. It is. It's just beautiful. Um, so no wonder they get the uh, license plate logo, beautiful British Columbia. This is true. It's There's gorgeous mountains behind us and the lake and the beautiful housing development. It is. So how about that view, Dean? All the way down the oh, valley is a lake. Isn't with that gorgeous? Huge hills. This is just stunning. And you see how the colour of the lake changes with the colour of the mountains, like there where the mountains are brownier. And goes, if you look right on the edge of the lake over there, there's another train. There's a train <laughs> that stopped there. Yeah. I guess he's still the Trans Canada Railway. Yeah. Oh, and we can hear another train coming on the other oh. side of the lake. Okay, yeah, I can see it. It's going to be coming. But what we did see were these beautiful houses being built. Yeah. Overlooking this lake with the mountains. Wow. And there's even the YMCA Dream Home. I presume you can yeah. go win that in a lottery. Oh, what a view. What a view they have. This oh. is... Uh, some great windy corners on this road <laughs> going up mountains. Yeah, I think the ears are popping again. Yeah, they definitely are. Getting some altitude there. Oh, and now we're down to 90. to get another one minute down one minute. the road. <laughs> and we had to stop again. Because here's a scenic lookout of the lake where those luxury houses were. Yeah. It and it's like nothing on earth that we've seen. We seem to be kind of down at the complete at the end of the lake now. So the view going backwards is just beautiful. So you get to see the whole valley with the lake in it and the mountains and hills rising up. It's just absolutely stunning. And to think we travel all over the world I know, to see to these landscapes <laughs> and here it is in our own country. I know. We're so fortunate to live here. But just take a look at this everybody. That is priceless as a, as a landscape. And, and if, you, if you look on the water, tiny, tiny dots fishing boats, fishing boat. people angling and running alongside the lake on the other side of the bank is a railway and there is actually a train moving way in the distance ever so slowly along the lake side. This is a plaque at the lake that we stopped at. It's all to do with the railways, I guess, and fortunes of people. Another minute! <laughs> <laughs> another and, uh, and we found another pull-in area, rest area. Uh, the last place was getting pretty busy, but this is giving us another view of Kamloops Lake. Yeah, which is absolutely gorgeous. So we're progressing along the Trans-Canada <laughs> on either BC 69 Highway or Highway 1 Trans-Canada. They both share the same number. Um, we're just up from that lake that we were showing you and now this is the valley that we've driven along and through. We've come up on the mountain and we're looking back and part of it is Tina thinks is Dead Man's River. 
and where there's a bendy bit in the river uh, that's Juniper Beach Provincial Park which we're now in Here we are in where Cash, are we? In Cache Creek. Cache Creek. Creek, whichever you'd like to pronounce it. And it's a cute little town. It's on the junction of the Highway 1 and Highway 97. 97. And uh, from here you could go north to Prince George or south to Vancouver. So we're going to be going south. So it seems to be a bit of a rest stop area with gas stations, restaurants, and a really cute visitor information center in the community hall and they've done a 1950s diner theme and look at the car that beautiful vintage car up there norm it's the number 57 the year i was born so yeah. i'm really special yeah you are tina you've mm. always been special and if you can just smell norm yeah, the air, in the air of cooking. The air is heavy with burger smell from Herb's Drive-In. Yeah. He has a poster over there. It says, this is the home of the famous Monster Burger. Yeah. I tell you what, we'll get a close-up of that. So, Teen, what? here's the home of the Monster Burger. Wow. Do you think they do that as a vegetarian? Probably not. Mm. So I guess it's not on the menu for us. No. Although, but the picture looks once upon a time, that would have looked very tasty to me. Yeah, but the picture looks good. It's amazing. So come to Cash Creek and get a, a monster, monster burger. burger. So this gives you an idea of Cash Creek, what it's all about. There's a gas station, busy road heading north. And it's nestled in the hills. And there's a good, good parking for RVs. There's, there's our monster over here. And that's the community hall that we just stood in front of. So really nice little town. The road that we've been following, the Highway 1, all the way down through the mountains that we keep stopping at, is the Circle Route of British Columbia. So you could go around this area on uh, Highway 1, the Trans-Canada, or you could go around on Highway 5, and it creates a circle through the mountains. We came on the Trans-Canada Highway 1 because we wanted to preserve our, our route. So we did the Trans-Canada Highway 1 all the way to Vancouver. This is just a, a trail marker that's along the highway. So this is the first blossoms we've seen on our trip on the Trans-Canada Highway. We've been from snow and rain and... Hail. Yeah, we had hail too. Yeah. And this is a lilac tree and it's, it's pretty big for Canada because where we're from in uh, eastern Ontario or central Ontario uh, lilacs don't grow this this big because they die back every year but just look at this blossom we could smell it as soon as we came out the camper just absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. 